Welcome, Bruce and Anna, our very own people. Yay, Veteran Senior Memorial Center. They are going to teach us to, no, they're going to salsa to salsa. salsa. <laughs> All right, everybody, get your dancing shoes on, roll up the carpet in the parlor, and let's salsa. Oh, I'm just kidding. You made me do that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, uh, welcome, everybody. This is the first time we've done this. We just figured out 10 minutes ago how to, uh, not, not cook, but first time we ever figured out how to do the Zoom and the camera. So I'm going to go over and Anna's going to take the, take the cockpit, the <laughs> professional pilot seat. I'm going to adjust the <laughs> camera down onto, how's that look? Okay. Perfect. Maybe what she's cooking or? Maybe a little bit to the left. Yeah. 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 Like that. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, so, oh, so I guess I'm supposed to do the talking. Does it sound like I'm shouting? Mm -hmm. Does it sound like I'm shouting, Tina? No. Okay. No, nope, nope, you're fine. All right, there, we can see that. All right, so um, what we've got today is we're going to do what Anna calls just a basic, a basic like family salsa. Um, there's many different ways you can do this. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're just going to boil the, uh, the ingredients. Um, yes, you can, um, in order to cook the ingredients, you can fry them. And I wouldn't recommend that. You could broil them under, you know, charbroil them in the oven. Um, I usually put it on the grill and, and smoke, so I get a nice smoky flavor. And then uh, you can do that. But so what today, what we have is... Um, as you can see, there's six tomatoes, a half an onion. Uh, it could be a purple onion. It could be a white onion. Um, these, there are seven serrano chilies. Um, serranos are hotter than the jalapeno. Um, if you go, you can go like, think of it like a, a mild one would be a bell pepper. Uh, the difference between a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper apparently is, it's a, a red bell pepper is a green bell pepper, but it's been left on the vine and it's redder and sweeter. So as you go up what's called the Scoville scale, which is the uh, uh, scale on how they measure pepper hotness, it would go like a bell pepper, then a jalapeno, and then these serranos right here. So those are serranos. Um, regular salt, can't see that, it's a little bit bleachy. And then this right here, this is uh, very dangerous. Uh, Anna's family grows these chilies. Um, what are they called? <laughs> what? Please. Oh, uh, piquin. Chili piquin and I mean, just looking at them will make your eye get hot. And then we have just regular cumin or cumano or whatever. It's all backwards to us. Oregano. And then right here is oregano. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there is a difference between the flavor between Italian oregano and Mexican oregano. Um, I don't know what the difference is. Oh, look at my big belly. How gross. Um, I don't know what the difference is between them, but they do taste different. Um, if you only have um, Italian oregano, that's fine. And then what we have here is this is a chicken bouillon, nor um, it's just it's just a flavor enhancer. Um, they do make some of this with monosodium gluten, monos MSG free, and also with um, low sodium. All right, so those are the ingredients. Hey, Bruce and Anna, question for you is: When we go to the Mexican restaurant, we get the salsa. It always tastes so good, and we can't replicate at home. Is it because they put the bouillon in there, chicken bouillon? Yeah, sometimes they'll add chicken bouillon or beef bouillon, um, especially mm. if it tastes better if you like say boiled chicken before and use the same stock from the chicken. Um, it's better than than using this stuff. Sometimes you still have to use a little bit of this for a little extra flavor, right? Me personally, um, but if you ever boil chicken or beef, you can always use that too. Okay, got it. Thank you. Another thing that I've been slowly learning, um, and this is what I've learned from working here at the senior centers senior center is um, which what, whatever style of cooking you use at home. Um, so uh, just different regions. Um, let's say if you're, you use like do Asian cooking or if you do Latin cooking or if you do Italian cooking, it also has to do with like the olive oil that you use or the oil if, or if you use uh, olive oil or if you use sesame oil. So those are the, some of the things and whatever you cook at your house, your sauce is also going to come and taste kind of similar to your house. So if you're getting it at a Mexican restaurant, all they do is they cook Mexican food. So I, that's my feeling on why it tastes better. 
So did go ahead and Anna's going to start chopping. Um, was there a question that popped up? Sorry, is there a question right there, Tina? Let me see. I was on mute. Okay. Uh, Julie said, "Can we see their faces, please, too?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do like you, but we don't want you to be ghosts. We don't want to be ghosts. What ghost us? <laughs> I have to keep my beard on or my face mask on because of, of my beard. What do you think, Julie? Is that okay? <laughs> well, if you want to see just wrists and fingernails, that's fine. <laughs> Always wash your hands before. They are <laughs> So I just kind of chopped the half onion into three because eventually you will blend all this in the blender. Um, so I just kind of chop it up so it doesn't screw up my blender. Um, off of your serranos, you want to make sure that you take the stems off and rinse everything. We already pre-rinsed everything. Um, depending on how hot you want it, depending how many chilies you put. Um, if you want it mild, obviously, like we said, you can use... Um, Jalapenos, those are less spicy. You can use maybe two for four tomatoes. Um, I like it spicy, hence I use this many more. Normally I use double the amount of tomatoes I use. So we're gonna chop that up. Tomatoes stay whole. Bruce is bringing over the water. You pre-boil some water, stump it in there. We're gonna let that boil for a little bit. Just dump it all in. So all that will go to boil. When it's done, then we'll get to that. So we're gonna show you two different salsas today. That's one of them. That, the salsa that we're boiling, you can use over tacos, you can use over um, many things, meat, stuff like that if you like it. And uh, on the proportion, did you say the tomato is double the onion and the pepper? For me, yes, because I like it spicy. So I'll use, um, if I'm using four tomatoes, I'll use eight serranos um, because I like it hot. Um, so the other salsa we're making is a fresh salsa. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this kind. It's like salsa fresca, but with a little twist. Sometimes I'll add mango. Today, I'm gonna add some apple. Uh, let me get my bowl. If, if I were to put, I like hot stuff a lot, but I will put about three of those Serrano chilies in the same, and it is too hot for everybody in my family. <laughs> but we suffer through it. It tastes really good on cereal too. <laughs> so for this salsa, this is salsa fresca. You can, depending on how much you're gonna make, I normally don't cook for just two people. So for me, it's hard. I'm used to cooking for like 30. <laughs> So today we're only going to use um, four tomatoes, and this is probably even a lot. Um, you just chop up your tomatoes. Um, you're going to use onion. I like to use purple onion, but we were out, so we're using yellow onion today. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So we'll just put some tomato, you'll chop up some onion. Normally I'll use a whole half onion, but. Great. The white, the white onion on the. You can't even see it, I don't think. Can you guys see that onion being chopped? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Everyone knows how to chop onion, but not. So. Sorry, I'm not a great chopper. Probably have more chefs here. So for this one, like I said, you'll use tomato, um, some onion, cilantro. We'll use some uh, cucumber, limes for sure. You want to cut something? Hmm? Oh, here, uh, yeah, here. I'll show you what the.
Isn't that lovely? That's, a, that's what it looks like. Now I got to get this adjusted perfect. <laughs> All right, how's that? Cool. Sorry, sorry. No, it's all right. Does anybody have any questions for us? I would love to show you the uh, the new senior center building, uh, but it's just a hole. There was um, probably three feet of water into it. It's now been drained for the day, and uh -huh. it'll fill up probably again tonight. So we got that going. Um, I know everybody, oh, smell a vision, but uh, that's not invented yet. But what I can smell coming right now is the, uh, the cilantro has a really distinct smell, um, as it always does. Here's that a little bit better. Hey, Bruce and Anna, on the tomato, what, what type of tomatoes are best? The Roma or the regular tomato? I like the Roma tomato, but we're using what we had here. OK. Um, what was this one called again? Uh, those are, actually, they're called. Anna tomatoes. <laughs> Anna tomatoes? Uh, yeah, I swear they're, they're in the box. But um, honestly, the best tomatoes to use, for, for, uh, in my opinion, is when somebody comes from their uh, summertime garden yep. and says, hey, I've got a bunch of extra tomatoes. Would you like them? And I always say yes. Um, doesn't matter. Right now, tomatoes in the market are very... Um, well, they're just very, well, there, sorry. Mm -hmm. See the color on them? I mean, they're, they're, they're not red tomato. They're like the white, they're, they taste okay, but this, the ones from the summertime just taste the best, but good question. Any, yeah, the ones from your garden do give it a lot better flavor, whether you're doing the fresh salsa or the other one. And the color as well, it kind of stands out a whole lot more more eye appealing and i will take um i learned from this lady she insisted that when you cut your tomatoes um i think this part is called the pith she would take all that out and remove all of the seeds for whatever she made because she claims that the tomato seeds make it bitter so and i'm not gonna argue with her <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. I'd like to know the tomato you choose, should you choose the one that's more firm or soft? Me personally, it, it kind of depends on your preference. I personally like it a little bit more firm, especially because I'm throwing lime into it. And sometimes the lime cooks it a little bit so it can make it a little soggy after a while. Um, so I, I like to go a little bit more firm, but not too firm either. Um, I've made this salsa before the same way. It's like the salsa fresca that you get in the store sometimes, um, except I've added mango before. I've added apples. Um, one time I added papaya and actually they liked it. Who's that? My husband and his family. <laughs> So oh, just chop up small pieces, throw it in there. Sorry, I don't know if the bowl's in the way. And you can leave it on with the peel or you can peel it either way. Such a professional, Anna. Oh, not even close. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> we have our, yeah, our tomatoes are boiling. I, I figured someone would ask, uh, what kind of, of pepper could you use? Uh, chili pepper. Um, for this salsa? For any salsa. I mean, basically it's up to you. Um, how hot you want it. If you like it hot, 
I throw in a habanero. Um, <laughs> some people can withstand that. I just, I can't. Um, what you, uh, that there's also, um, I like, there's an Anaheim chili. They're a little bit longer. There is um, a Poblano chili. Some of them have heat, some of them are mild. Um, the New Mexico, what's the one that they comes out? It comes out once a year in September. Uh, the Hatch chilies. Those are my favorite. They're about this long. They come out for one, they come out for one month. Sorry, you can only see my hands. And um, you can only get them in the store for that month. And those are fantastic when you roast them. And um, there's a couple ways to roast them. You could just directly broil them underneath your broiler, or you could take a hot cast iron skillet or a pan and just, you just basically blister those and then stick them into a bag after they're cooked and let them cool. And then they're really easy to peel. Um, you could get dried chilies. They come in various sizes and flavors and shapes. Um, you know, this is very similar to what I always say is like, it's very similar to spaghetti. There's a billion different, there's, it's spaghetti sauce, but everyone's mom has done it a little bit different, uh, different ingredients, different oils, different spices. And um, whatever your mom cooks is probably what you're going to end up liking the best because that's what they gave you when you're a little kid, I think. But. So out of this, I like to take the, the seeds out of the cucumber um, because sometimes it makes it a lot more watery than you want it. And it kind of takes away from the flavor. So I always take the pits, the, the seeds out, just cut long ways and then chop. Is that done? Yeah. That's It's just about them too. So we're almost done with this. Um, you don't have to add fruit into it. I like to sometimes mix it up a little bit, but even if you use this salsa with the mango or apple or both, if you like both, um, and put that over some tacos or um, even just a piece of chicken, if you if you fry up a chicken or bake a chicken and throw it on top of that, it's really good. Can you marinate something in this? In the salsa itself? I've never tried it, but it doesn't hurt to try. So here's our salsa so far. Oh, sorry. This one's just about done. Oh. So just give it a little mix. So some people like to add jalapenos to this or serranos or habanero, depending what you want. Like I said, depending on the spice that you want. Um, me personally, I like this stuff for a little, I call it our little secret stash. <laughs> um, it's wicked. This a little bit goes a long way. Can you guys see that okay? Oy, oy, oy. A little bit goes a long way because it's very spicy. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> just add a little bit of that little bit of salt. You don't have to add the salt. And then you might want to use about two to three limes, depending on how, uh, how much you like limes. I love limes. So for me, my husband always says I put too much lime. Oh, that looks good already. No, it's really citrusy. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, Anna Bruce, I, um, instead of uh, dressing now, I put salsa on my salad. Yeah, you can put this over a salad. So yeah. I, I sometimes like to eat this just like a salad. Um, I'll add some more cucumber to it. Right. Um, you can even add some tuna oh. to this <laughs> or even shredded uh, chicken. Shrimp would be good. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much like a ceviche. It's pretty yeah. much the yeah. same thing as making a ceviche. You just add shrimp. Um, and with ceviche too, you can also add a uh, mango to it. Um, I've actually even had one with strawberries in it, which is actually pretty good. So and just give that a little mix.
Oh, I can already taste it. <laughs> and then you can just serve this with some chips or you can put it with some chicken. I like to sometimes throw it over my rice and eat it that way. I'm gonna try a little bit. And that's our salsa. Oh, wow. Our salsa fresca. Yummy. Wow. Takes you like five, 10 minutes, depending how much you're making. Obviously this is quite a bit <laughs> and that's only four tomatoes. I'm used to making with like 10 tomatoes. So, so that's, um, that's, that's one apple. So can you, can you put uh, black pepper on it? Sure. Yeah, you can add black pepper. You can, um, you, I've used salt, pepper. What else have we used? Yeah, you can use tahini. Me personally, I don't like it. Um, like I said, I like, first I would always make it with jalapenos and then I started using serranos. And then when I found this stuff is when I started using this and I don't go back to anything else. <laughs> Any questions on that one? If everybody wants to drive by with the chip, I'll, I'll stand outside and you come by. <laughs> we'll scoop you some. We'll scoop you a little. Oh, that's are, funny the, chips what? are not provided <laughs> well you know what? and and i forgot to buy chips but we had some here so okay um was there a question, question up there i have a question um what is the name of that hot pepper you put in in the very beginning sorry uh, what's the name of that hot pepper what did they call you this yeah, one? yeah that yeah yeah this one is called uh i can't even Chile piquín. <laughs> so it's a small, little, teeny, tiny red pepper. They're really tiny. Um, they almost, they're a little bit bigger than um, the whole pepper. Um, what do they call The whole pepper. So they're a little bit bigger than that. And what we do is we grow them. We normally take them off the plant. We dry them. And then once they're dry, we kind of blend it and make it into a little powder. Um, this stuff also in soup tastes really good. It'll clear your nose right away. <laughs> <laughs> so you can buy it in powder form. Yeah, you can buy it too. But um, I've bought it before and it's a little bit different when you buy it in the store. Um, I don't know if they, because they process it maybe a little bit right. more or... I'm not sure what it is, but everybody it has go little, to Anna's house. <laughs> it has a little bit of a different flavor. So I will show you now the other salsa. Hold on. Are you gonna get it? Yeah. Okay. So here are the uh, here are the tomatoes and onions and. Uh, Serrano chilies, and basically, you know, they're a little more than blanched. If you know, you just stick something in and blanch it really quick. These boil, what, 10, 15 minutes? Uh, no salt or anything. Um, some lady came up to the door and was asking when the movies was, so <laughs> that was what I stopped for. So, uh, do you want me to scoop these out? I do have this here. So what we'll do with that. What's that gonna be over here? Got our official ninja. You wanna put a little bit? Don't anybody tell Chef Gavin we're using his refrigerator <laughs> or his, uh, his stove. So once this is done boiling. See the tomato has popped open. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to see. Just throw it in your blender. Ooh, I smell the chili. <coughs> so if we start coughing. <laughs> wow. So normally, um, like I said, if I do chicken, if I boil chicken, 
I'll use some of the chicken, oops, sorry. I'll use some of the chicken stock to throw in here into my blender once I have drained all this, taken everything out, I mean. Um, make sure I get all my peppers. Don't wanna miss those. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to that. I'll be right back. Depending on how thick you want the consistency of this, depending how much water and or uh, chicken stock or bouillon you add to it. Sorry. Bad, bad sous chef, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna put you on mute for it. We're gonna put ourselves on mute for a second. All right, uh, we're gonna mute the microphone while we do this. I'll sing you a song, but you won't hear it. So, stand by. Wow. It's look like a shake. all right we're back <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. all right so let me Ooh. we're gonna have to go over to the stove right okay this. oh very spicy. <laughs> oh. That's when you know you have the good stuff, huh? Oh, I'm going to start sneezing. So true or false, you cannot use this portion of the cilantro. False. False. The most flavor comes in that part. Oh, I didn't know that. By yeah. All right. Uh, so with this salsa, we're going to need to go over to the stove. Okay, that's okay. So is this also served hot or just? So this one can be served hot and or cold, depending how you want it. Um, in your pan, hot, you'll add a little bit of oil. Once you have blended your salsa, let the oil heat up a little bit. Which mine's already kind of sizzling there. And you throw your salsa in there. Then you will add, I don't measure, I've never measured. <laughs> That's good. To this, you will add your oregano. For this amount, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? No. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. We'll use just a little bit. Is the lighting better if I turn it on? Can you see that better? Okay. Use yeah. a little bit of cumin. Oh. It's falling. <laughs> And a little bit of your chicken bouillon. You would have to try about a tablespoon or so. You'll let this boil, you'll mix it in. Oh, with the fresh salsa, you can also add avocado to it if you like. What? It also tastes really good with avocado in it. I love avocado. And like I said, this one, you can make it whatever consistency you want. 
This is, as you can see, a little, little thick, but still kind of watery. As you boil it, it dries up a little bit more. Yeah. Sorry, you can't really see that, huh? Can you guys see that or no? Not really. There. Sorry for everybody who has heard <laughs> <laughs> No more. I was moving it. She was moving it. Sorry. Sorry for all the people who have heard it go out there. I'm with you. All right. Just kind of let that boil a little bit. Um, and then obviously you want to taste it um, depending on your preference. Um, depending on, on, on your heat preference, depending how much you put and your salt preference. Um, everybody's different. Some people might like a little bit less salt, some people might like more. So, like I said, this salsa here, it, I also use it to make enchiladas with. I'll dip my tortilla in there, fry my tortilla a little bit, and then fill it with whatever it is that I want to add to my enchiladas. So this is like a multi-use salsa. <laughs> Give it a quick little fry and see. You know why. Also, want to make sure you don't burn yourself when you try it. Why? Because you will burn your tongue and then you won't be able to taste anything. See. That's spicy. That needs a little bit more. That's why, like I said, if you use chicken stock, it's a little bit better. Um, it gives it a, the flavor a lot faster, I guess you would say. So, Anna, could you throw garlic in this? Yes. We didn't have garlic. We didn't throw garlic in it. Um, I do recommend you add garlic. It does give it a lot more flavor still. And if you don't like garlic? Then don't add it. <laughs> And I think that's about it. It looks like a soup, Anna. Any questions? I like to see Bruce drink it. They want to see you drink it. <laughs> oh, no problem. You just want me to scald it down my face, huh? <laughs> so, Anna, is Not it bad. Two sauces in a half hour, huh? Wow. And the ingredients, less, what, less than $10, maybe? So how long do you have to boil this for, Anna? Huh? How long do you have to boil this for? The tomatoes yeah. or this? This, yeah. Three minutes, five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I have had uh, many occasions where people, yeah, we're coming over, we're coming over, and I'm making my salsa. Mm -hmm. you know, I save it for the last minute. Right. And uh, they don't show up. And so I just turn it down onto a low boil and add some more water to it, mm -hmm. re-season it a little bit. And you or uh you, you could keep boiling it down and over and over and over again. I've, uh, last time I made this at home was Friday night and it put too, oh, sorry. And I put too much, uh, and it's like, oh, you put seven in of these, <laughs> of the Serranos. So I put four in and it was entirely too hot for everybody in my house. <laughs> even. So what I did was I just I opened up a can of a uh, uh, chicken broth and put that in and just boiled it down and reduced it and so it was still too hot and did it again and put a little water in it and it eventually goes but I don't know how, how long would you say this lasts in the refrigerator this maybe five days maybe yeah, a week if a it's week. sealed properly yeah a week um obviously you also don't want to put it in the fridge when it's hot like this you want to let it cool 
Um, right. Once it's cool, then you can go ahead and put it in the fridge. Um, like I said, I've used this to um, for tostadas. I'll put it right over my tostadas to give it a little kick um, or enchiladas. Mm -hmm. um, anything that's left over, I normally put it in the fridge and I use it next time. Um, I've used it in morisqueta. And what that is, it's like a white rice with beans. Oh. And mm. you pretty much do this sauce with, and you just add cheese to it. Um, wow. Oh, wow, that looks yummy. Here, uh, there's also, uh, what I love to do is- Wow. You dip your chips in that directly yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Is take just regular corn chips or, or tortilla chips and throw the tortilla chips into a, a pan on, on low okay. and then take um, about a cup of this and pour that into the chips and a cup of water into okay. that, into the pan and let the chips slowly cook and then pull it all out together and then crack some eggs and then put the eggs on top of it. So here's the other you, one right there. You can even do it with tortillas, chop up some tor tor tortillas and fry that up a little bit, throw that salsa on it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. You know what my pet peeve on TV commercials is, is watching people Eat. <laughs> I can't stand that. So, like some of those commercials where they show the people taking the bite out of the sandwich or the hamburger. Ugh. You got to try it though, because then you're going to eat it later. I've already tried it. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Oh, yeah. I already tried it twice. So, thank you so much, Bruce and Anna. This this will be a, a wonderful holiday dish. Easy, something easy, and something we can go together. Easy, yeah. Yep. They're they're Christmas colors. They're the color of the Italian flag, the color of the Mexican flag. So. <laughs> You could use it for uh, all sorts of holidays. And with the, and with the fresh some. salsa, with the fresh salsa, you can you can pretty much throw anything in it. Um, you recommend uh, throwing some mangoes on the uh, on on the one that you're you're working on, right? Yeah. So okay. if you throw mango in it, it gives it a little kick of a, a little bit more sweetness. The okay. apple does too. Okay. Um, but not as much as the mango. The mango gives it more of a sweetness. What about orange? Do you do you recommend orange? Like just tangerines? Um, I've never tried it with orange, but I'm sure it'd be it'd be it tastes just as good. Um, pineapple is another one you can add. So you can make it like a summer salsa and add the fruit to it, or you can like, just no fruit and you add some guacamole, avocados to it. Guacamole. guacamole. Add some <laughs> avocados to it. Um, Put some can, shrimp in there and it becomes ceviche. Yep. Oh, my <laughs> boss is calling me. Yeah. Wow, great. Thank you so much. Any other question, you guys? This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome.